Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft is busy finalizing the next optional C release update for Windows 11 version 23H2. In the release preview channel, and the update KB5058502 was made available to the insiders yesterday on the 15th. And because it is in its final stages of testing, I would suggest that the update would start rolling out to the general public starting Tuesday the 27th of May into the rest of that week. Now, this next update for... Now, this next optional update will, according to Microsoft, include six new features. And... Because it's still in preview, this could be subject to change. It is quite common that things are changed a little bit when it does roll out to the stable. So just keep that in mind. Now, the next, now the new features and fixes I'm going to mention now will all roll out gradually. So when it makes its way to stable, you may or may not see these features at the get go. So just keep that in mind. Now, the first new feature is for Copilot, where Microsoft says you can now open copilot on windows using the keyboard shortcut win and c and you can personalize your copilot key and win and c at any time with the existing customized copilot key on keyboard which will be found under settings personalization text input and that will be in this area and in this location when that does roll out to the stable then I'm just going to mention the next new feature for Copilot. To press to talk with Copilot in Windows, Microsoft says you now hold the Copilot or Windows and C key for two seconds. If you don't have a Copilot key, press escape or stay silent for a few seconds to end the call. And you can also use Alt and Spacebar to talk with Copilot. So quite a lot of attention focused on Copilot with this update. Now, I'm just going to mention the next improvement for search on taskbar, where Microsoft says it has improved support for web search providers in Windows Search for the EEA, including with increased discoverability, so that's region-specific. And the next new feature, they mention you can find answers to commonly asked questions about your PC and Windows 11 in the new FAQs section, Frequently Asked Questions on the settings system about page and this has already rolled out to windows 10 so windows 11 a little bit late in catching up but i think the reason microsoft pushed this out to windows 10 before windows 11 is to get windows 10 users over onto windows 11 and microsoft says it covers topics like system setup performance and compatibility all in one place they say so that's going to be rolling out to 23h2 hopefully with that next update and then there's a new feature for configuring taskbar policies for admins. I'm just going to mention this. Admins can configure taskbar policies so users can unpin specific apps ensuring they are not repinned during the next policy refresh that's listed as a new feature. And then there is a fix for voice access where it may freeze with error working on it when dictating. And then just going to mention the next new feature for widgets on the lock screen. And this is only for the EEA, once again, where Microsoft says the lock screen weather widget now supports customization. So to configure your weather widget, you would go to settings, personalization, lock screen, and select the customize widget option from the weather widget more options menu with Microsoft saying more widgets will be customizable in the future. Now the next new feature is for Windows Share, where when you drag a local file, from File Explorer or your desktop, a tray appears at the top of your screen. Drop the file into a suggested app or select More, which will be the three-dotted menu, to open the Windows Share window. And I actually think I've posted on that previously. And there are two fixes for touch keyboard input. The first is voice typing won't start from the touch keyboard when using the Chinese simplified narrow layout. And the next is when using the symbol section of the touch keyboard, pressing the key to change pages may unexpectedly insert a character into password fields. Now those new features and fixes are all rolling out gradually. Now, now the next couple of fixes and improvements, I'm just going to mention some. 
these are rolling out normally and will roll out to all as part of the bug fix update at the end of this month. The first is quite important because Microsoft says it's fixed a blue screen error with error code system service exception. So that's an important fix. And they also fixed an issue that stopped the Holo camera app from saving pictures on Holo lens. And there's a memory leak fix, which is also important. This update, Microsoft says, addresses an issue in the input service that causes increased memory usage, potentially impacting performance in multi-user, multilingual, and remote desktop usage. So that will be a bit of a performance boost. And the update addresses an issue when Explorer and the Start menu stop working when a device is connected to an AAD account. And then the last one, just to mention for this video, there's a fix for Windows Update and Servicing where Microsoft says that the Windows Update service stopped working when devices running Windows 11 22H2 or 23H2 try to download the Windows 24H2 feature update through Windows Server Update Services WSUS. So guys, that's more or less what should be rolling out with our next optional C-release update for version 23H2, KB5058502. And we are still waiting for 24H2 to enter final preview. And when that happens, obviously, I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.